we want to determine the exact trig function values using the unit circle. If we sketch the angles in standard position, the point where the terminal side intersects the unit circle gives us both the cosine function value and the sine function value. The x coordinate is equal to cosine theta and the y coordinate is equal to sine theta on the unit circle. So to determine the first two trig function values, we'll sketch 315 degrees in standard position. So here's the initial side. Now we'll rotate counterclockwise 315 degrees. So if we rotate three quarters of a turn to here, this would be 270 degrees. So we need to rotate 45 degrees more to reach 315 degrees, which would be here. Here's the terminal side of 315 degrees. And notice how the terminal side intersects the unit circle at this point here where the x coordinate is equal to square root two divided by two and the y coordinate is equal to negative square root two divided by two. So cosine 315 degrees is equal to the x coordinate of square root two divided by two and sine 315 degrees is equal to the y coordinate of negative square root two divided by two. Next we have the cosine of 600 degrees and the sine of 600 degrees. So now we'll sketch 600 degrees in standard position. So here's the initial side. Now we want to rotate counterclockwise 600 degrees. Well one rotation counterclockwise would be 360 degrees. So we still have to rotate 240 more degrees. So we rotate 180 degrees and then 60 more degrees. So this would be the terminal side of 600 degrees. Notice how 600 degrees is also coterminal with 240 degrees. The terminal side intersects a unit circle at this point here where the x coordinate is equal to negative one half and the y coordinate is equal to negative square root three divided by two. So cosine 600 degrees is equal to negative one half. Sine 600 degrees is equal to the y coordinate of negative square root three divided by two. Now as we saw in the unit circle, remember we can use coterminal angles to the given angle to find the same trig function values. As we saw in the unit circle, we could have used 240 degrees instead of 600 degrees to determine these trig function values. Next we have cosine negative 450 degrees and sine negative 450 degrees. So again, we'll start by sketching the angle in standard position. The initial side is here. Because the angle is negative, we'll now rotate clockwise 450 degrees. So again, one rotation clockwise would be negative 360 degrees. So we need to rotate another 90 degrees clockwise, which would bring us to here, the negative y-axis. Again, notice how negative 450 degrees is coterminal with 270 degrees, so we could also have used 270 degrees to determine these trig function values. So here's the terminal side. Notice how it intersects the unit circle at this point here where the x coordinate is zero and the y coordinate is negative one, which means cosine negative 450 degrees is equal to the x coordinate, or zero, and sine negative 450 degrees is equal to the y coordinate, or negative one. I hope these examples were helpful.